I've got a vocal track here along with an instrumental. Let's have a quick listen. Now touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Get ready to do it all again. So in order to do any time correction or tuning in Revoice Pro, first need to select a region and we'll click the W key to make it a warp region. From here, I'm gonna solo this out and let's go full screen. Right clicking, you'll notice that we have an abundance of tools available. So we have the selector tool, the cutter tool, a correct pitch tool, a pencil tool, and a warp point tool. We also have some other features down here, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now the basic concepts are pretty simple. I'm gonna double click here to insert my cursor and let's zoom in. If I wanted to do a really quick blunt force 100% tune, I could do this very easily simply by clicking Option or Alt W. This is going to tune everything to 100% and it's gonna snap it to the nearest semitone. Notice that when we've done that, we have these little areas over here that seem a little disjointed. This can be easily remedied by simply selecting and choosing the M tool, which allows us to smooth join. This can really smooth out some of these transitions where you've quantized your tuning to 100%. That being said, I'm gonna undo this and let's take a couple steps backwards. I'm gonna zoom out and let's take a look at some other options that we have. The blue pitch line here indicates the average pitch center of any pitch block. Now I can click, hold and drag to move any of these. But in addition to that, notice that we can also click the W key to snap anything to the nearest semitone. And also, when we have this pitch block selected, we have the ability to click this little blue square on either side, and I can actually change where the average pitch center is being derived from. So in the cases where your pitch trace is going up, you can make some unique decisions in terms of how you want Revoice Pro to handle that. Now, in addition, we have all the other tools that you would expect as well. So for example, if I wanted to make any cuts, I could simply right click, choose the cutter tool, and then I could split this up into different sections. Each one of these sections could then be handled individually. So for example, selecting either one of these, clicking the W. And then again here, we have this disjointed area where the smooth join will take care of that and it'll join them up together. In addition, we also have a correct pitch tool. So we can select this and then making a selection across any pitch blocks, we have this slider. And of course, we can use this to scale up or down in terms of how much tuning we want to be done. Go back to my shortcut and I could smooth join this to smooth everything out. And then last but not least, if I wanted to affect a block of pitches and I wanted to essentially adjust the skew or the tilt of how this pitch is happening, I could join these all together and then hold down alter option on either end to change the angle of how this skew is happening. Conversely, if I didn't want to join these up together, I also have the ability to do that simply by lasso selecting. I can move these all as if though they're one, but they're still remaining as individual pitch blocks. And then of course, our smooth join tool to smooth everything out. Now when it comes to making timing adjustments, this is also very simple. We can right click and choose our warp point tool. At any given point of time, we can just drop some warp markers in and then we have the ability to adjust the timing of any of these phrases within Revoice Pro. A simple shift click to add a warp marker, and then we can drag these to the left or right to adjust the timing. The benefit being that if you have an APT that's been created, any timing changes that you've made will follow suit for any tracks that are set to follow this guide track.